It is cold outside in Washington, but there is a warm glow inside the U.S. Botanic Garden during the Christmas season. This year, the garden is featuring 31 replicas of historic U.S. train stations built from the 1800s to 1970. Trains really celebrate the holiday season for people from 2 to 92. Kashmira Bhatti came to see the trains with her son. He likes that the trains are moving and he can see the train station and the surrounding of the train station too. So it's, it's more like an educational thing for him and plus uh, entertainment too. The amazing displays are reminiscent of the popular model trains that circled under Christmas trees for 50 years during the last century, from 1910 to 1960. And while the trains may be a new experience for kids, they bring back nostalgia for adults old enough to remember them. And I think there's still a little bit of an imaginative era associated with trains in the United States. It's something that not everyone rides all the time anymore, and so I think there's a little bit of whimsy associated with them. Most of the train stations are still in existence, including Montana's East Glacier Park Station, the beautiful Cincinnati Union Terminal in Ohio, and the very steep Pipes Peak Cog Railway in Colorado. If you look closely, you will also see something else that is unique about the railroad stations and other structures. They were constructed using a variety of plant-based materials. So the buildings are made out of things like acorns or cinnamon sticks, uh, grapevine tendrils. In fact, there's more than a hundred different type of plant parts that are used to make these. Besides the historic train stations, the Botanic Garden is also featuring its spectacular plant-based collection of Washington landmarks, which include the White House, U.S. Capitol, and the U.S. Supreme Court, along with the newest addition, the city's Union Station. This visitor was admiring the intricate workmanship that went into making the landmarks and railroad stations. The ingenuity, the creativity, I love all of the natural um, elements. It's fantastic. Also showcased are two of the largest indoor decorated Christmas trees in Washington, as well as more than 3,000 poinsettia plants, also known as the Christmas flower. Deborah Block. VOA News, Washington.